Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this rectangle shawl here. It can be worn so many ways. So the size of mine is, it's approximately 27 inches wide, I guess you'd say. And the big long length of it is approximately 72 inches. Now, of course, you can adjust the size um, very easily just by the chain count. But I think it turned out really pretty. It's made with the double crochet herringbone stitch, which is actually a very easy stitch to do. And again, it's a one row repeat and you can't beat a pattern that's a one row repeat. So go, let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using Yarn Bee Chloe yarn. And what it is, it is a medium four weight yarn. And it's a 70% wool, 30% viscose blend. Now, you do not have to use this yarn. Any medium four-weight yarn will work. Now, there are 270 yards per ball. And I went through a total of six. So, you're going to need a little approximately 1,620 yards. Uh, something like that. Now, this is not the color I used. The color I used is called pick of the bunch it's this rainbow color now remember you don't have to use this yarn any four weight yarn will work and then i'm going to be using a size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook and in case you wonder that shawl pin that i had in the picture came from hobby lobby also Okay, like I said, the herringbone double crochet is a, it's an easy stitch to do. And it's, um, this shawl is just a one row repeat. Um, now, you can make your shawl any size that you want. There is no certain multiple for the double crochet herringbone. So any chain amount will work. Now, if you want to follow me, the size that I made, you want to start out with a chain of 86. Now, once you get your chain of 86 done, we're going to do one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Now remember, we never count the stitch that's on our hook. So in the second stitch from the hook, we wanna go ahead and put a single crochet. And then we're gonna work across and we're gonna put one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of the row. Just like that. So row one is this one single in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. All right, now at the end of row one, you should have a total of 85 stitches. Now this is the width of your poncho. It is not the length. We work the length. So if you're wanting to make it, you know, bigger or smaller uh, than mine, uh, the chain that you start with is, is the width. It's the shortest part of the poncho. The length is what we're building up to now. Okay, so row two is the repeat row for the whole shawl. So it's pretty easy. We are going to chain one and turn our work. And I'm going to show you how to do a double crochet herringbone stitch. And we're going to do that right here into this very first stitch. So we are going to yarn over and we're going to go into that very first stitch. And we're going to draw up a loop. What we're going to do now is go through the first loop on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over and go through the next loop on our hook. And then we're going to yarn over and go through the remaining two loops. So that's how you do my herringbone double crochet. And that's what we're going to do all the way across. So again, we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, and draw up a loop. Now remember, we don't yarn over right now. We just go straight through the first loop on our hook, like that. And then we're going to yarn over and go through the next loop on our hook. And then we're going to yarn over and go through the remaining two. Just like that. Again, herringbone double crochet into the next stitch. Go into the stitch. 
draw up a loop. Go through the first loop on your hook, just like that. Yarn over and go through the next loop on your hook. And then yarn over and go through the remaining two loops on your hook. And that's what we're going to do in every stitch across. That is the herringbone double crochet. That's how it's made. It might take a bit to get used to, but yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. The important part here is to remember just to go, once you draw up a loop, go straight through that first loop like that. And then you yarn over and go through the next loop. And then you yarn over and go through the remaining two. Again, you yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, go straight through the first loop, yarn over and go through the next loop, and yarn over and go through the remaining two. Herringbone double crochet. So I'm going to work a herringbone double crochet in every stitch until I get to the end of my row. Just like that. All right, I'll go ahead and show you one more time how to do the herringbone double. Just wanna make sure. Oh, you yarn over, go into the stitch. Draw up your loop. And remember right after that, you directly go through the first loop. Yarn over, go through the next loop, and then you yarn over and go through all two, the remaining two. So I'm just going to repeat that, putting one herringbone and double crochet stitch in every stitch until I get to the end of my row. Just like that. All right, once you make it to the end of row two, you still should have 85 stitches. And that's all this pattern is now. It's just a repeat of row two. So you chain one and turn, and you put a herringbone and herringbone double crochet in every single stitch across. So you start with this very first stitch and do your herringbone double. This first one's kind of always the hardest one to get for me, but. There we go. And then you put one in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. Pretty easy. I like easy patterns. Sometimes, actually a lot of times, simple is the most beautiful. And every time you'll have 85 stitches at the end of your row. You always have 85 stitches. And you wanna just keep repeating this until you get the shawl, the length that you want it to be. Just like that. And the thing with the herringbone is, it starts to form a little bit of a, I don't know how to say it, the stitches kind of rows, one row kind of slants one way, and the other row kind of slants the other, when you work it back and forth like that. So it's a really, really cool stitch. It's a really, really easy stitch. Now remember, you want to do this for as long as you want to get your shawl. But I did a total of, I did a total of 154 rows and that is including that very first row of single crochet. But you, you know, like I said, you make it as long or short as you want. Now, once I finished that last row, all I did was tie off. I didn't do anything special. If you want to go around the edges, you can um, to clean them up. I actually like the look of the edge being jaggedy like that. I think it works well with the stitch being jaggedy. So I left mine, but by all means, you can go around it and clean it up. But for my prefer 
my preference was to leave it because I like the way I think it went well with the jaggedy jaggediness of of the stitch you want to add fringe and that's fine it's completely up to you or you can leave it like it is like I did but that's it super easy super beautiful I think it turned out really nice so if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give it a give it a thumbs up um, if you make this, I'd really, really love to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. Link below in the description box. Also, I'd appreciate a follow on Instagram. I post other things on Instagram and stuff. A little bit more stuff about my family and stuff and, and crochet. Um, if you want to check me out on there. And, uh, that's it. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, too, so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials or yarn giveaways or whatever I have. And as always, if you look over there on the right-hand side of the screen right now, I'm going to put a pit, uh, playlist of all my shawls. I do have lots of different styles of shawls and shapes of shawls. Maybe you want to go ahead and give it a look. Maybe you'll find something else that you like and want to make. So until next time, have a good day.